Hi, my name is Avinash Paspaleti. Uh, I'm doing my master's degree in Charles Stewart University for the year 2013 and 2014. I'm here to present my capstone report for the presentation on the topic uh, hybrid algorithm uh, for secure data over cloud operating system. Let's get started. What is hybrid? What is hybrid algorithm for secure data over cloud uh, operating systems? Before knowing that, let us study about uh, what cloud computing is all about. Cloud, com cloud computing is a technology that keeps up data and its application by using the internet and other resources to connect it centra centrally uh, at one point using a uh, using uh, different web browsers and different application tools how secure is the data over cloud we got one access point we got one storage point and we got plenty of plenty of uh, accessing uh, users so imagine the security what kind of different operating systems do we have in cloud operating system we got uh, glide amoeba uh, we got cloud we got ghost jolly but we'll be concentrating on ios which is the most reliable and most efficient and most used operating system security issues we got plenty of security issues. we got data security we got application security we got platform security we got security as a service but what we're trying to do is we're trying to concentrate on uh, data security which will be the main uh, aspect of our hybrid algorithm for secure data over cloud always uh, going forward let, let us have an overview of cryptography cryptography is a science of encrypting information all right so we got two types of cryptographies that is asymmetric and asymmetric basically symmetric cryptography has uh, the same key uh, which is used for both encryption and decryption and uh, uh, asymmetric cryptography has different keys for encryption and uh, decryption uh, let's learn about some terminologies before we go in and we got plain text we got encryption we got ciphertext and we got decryption this this diagram here gives us an overview of how the ciphertext is getting transferred and how, how the plain text uh, text is encrypted and how the uh, decrypt, uh, decrypted message is reaching the uh, party b all right let's let's look get an overview of how this aes uh, and uh, AES algorithm and RSA algorithm really works. They got four faces: sub byte face, shift row face, mix column faces, and add round key faces. And uh, they're really uh, simple to work out. We got S box, and S box is matched by row nine and column five, and uh, they are they are uh, mapped into the other two boxes by using the value two uh, a. We got shift row face where the first row is remained the same. The second row uh, shifts by one byte, and the third row does it for two, and the last row does it for three. We got mixed column face where this matrix, where with the, the matrix is multiplied with uh, uh, another the matrix where the first mere matrix column uh, when multiplied remains unchanged. The second is shifting by one byte, and third is shifting by left to the change shifted byte and the third uh, and the last week perform an XOR to the unshifted uh, initial value and uh, we got the add round key face which is a little tricky uh, we got 128 bits of uh, CDI here where the where the shift uh, where the uh, sub byte face got 2 power 8 that's 256 bytes of data we, we can put anything which in any combination in there and this is a simple this is a simple program written for uh, advanced computational technologies uh, and uh, we got RSA we, RSA is a standard algorithm which is pretty famous it is very famous and it is a standard algorithm which is used and you can see how the encryption phase and description uh, decryption phase uh, uh, goes with this algorithm when comparing both these two and trying to develop a hybrid algorithm uh, we got uh, we're trying to use asymmetric and asymmetric algorithms both aes and rsa algorithm where uh, where it can increase uh, uh, the speed uh, the speed of working of this keys algorithms and the, the key distribution complexity of uh, asymmetric algorithms also overcome uh, because uh, one task is performed by R rsa and one task is performed by aes where they both come together for giving a stronger data and for storage and transmission let's see look at the three uh, hybrid algorithm phases we got the session key phase where the session key phase is not an asymmetric key phase but it generates session session keys to all the users who is trying to log in or trying to access the data when the session is expired the keys expired so it's it's going to be very difficult for the ha hackers to get into the same data trying to hack the same data once the session is ended uh, since the session is finished when we're trying to uh, look at the encryption phase we got we got we got a very easy demonstration using uh, the diagram that so we got the plain text trying to get trying to uh, encrypt uh, to 
to encrypt into a cipher text the cipher text is and uh, used uh, is using encryption uh, session key which is which is provided by which is provided to the cipher text and the encrypted uh, session key is provided to the receiver too so they both come together and the both access will only uh, reveal the original text which the receiver has to see the different decryption phase is uh, maybe the vice versa of the encryption phase and not a big deal as the cipher text encryption session is going through the decryption session but the private key is also adding uh, added up to the session key and uh, which is both working together uh, for revealing the uh, hidden text or encrypted text to its uh, original form when we tried when we tried to do this when we tried to do this uh, the speed and reliability uh, are both uh, uh, questionable and for checking that we have tried to implement uh, this algorithm over iOS platform uh, using Ubuntu Linux and virtual machines. Uh, the evaluation parameter would be obviously the time taken for encrypting this uh, encrypting into the ciphertext and for decrypting the ciphertext into the original text. So look at, let, let us look, look at the results which we uh, which we got. For 24 bytes of data, RSA took 8 milliseconds, AES took 6 milliseconds, whereas hybrid took 0 0.062 milliseconds. That's an increase of 99.2%. With the R, with respect to the RSA and 98.96 percent, 98.96 percent with respect to the ACE. That's huge. And for 36 bytes of data, it's it's six milli six six milliseconds and two milliseconds for AES. That's 0 0.049 milliseconds for hybrid. That's huge difference. That's that's very huge difference in uh, what we what the performance index is uh, really trying to do. Uh, and uh, we got we got a graph which is comparing the performance index uh, for encryption time and the input size. The input size and the encryption time are both stable when it's hybrid, as you see, can see the yellow line performing there. So what I'm gonna uh, suggest is using a hybrid algorithm, we overcome all these problems of speed, accuracy, privacy, and confidentiality. And what this paper is trying to propose is uh, a hybrid algorithm. Uh, is using a symmetric algorithm, uh, symmetric algorithm to encrypt the bulk data, uh, but uh, still, uh, but when compared to RSA, which is which is uh, asymmetric, which is slower and uh, which takes which is slower, uh, is used for generating keys. So both clubbing together, it's it's becoming a safe and a, a very a very uh, secure uh, hybrid algorithm over, over for the secure data over cloud operating system. Uh, that's how we we've seen it we have seen the implementation results we have seen how the hybrid algorithm works thanks for giving me the opportunity and uh, you guys have a good day thanks for giving me the opportunity i would especially like to thanks mr at side who is a coordinator for us for giving me this opportunity and helping me through this caption report project thank you